video, we've got something new from Savior Equipment. All right, we're gonna do the unboxing and the review here in the studio, but what I wanted to show you was, when you get one of these rifle bags from Savior, this is the box that they come in. They do a really good job of sealing all this stuff up. The only difference with mine right now, you can see that there's no tape right here, and that's because I just did a review on the American Classic rifle case, and I'll put a link in the description below to that. They actually had both of my boxes taped together. So if you look here, they staple all this shut, and then you would also have tape sealing this up all the way through here. But Savior does a really, really good job with their packaging. Let me get the bag out of the box here. All right, we got our bag out of the box, and one thing I wanted to show you was Savior throws anti-mold and mildew packs inside the cardboard box in between this and the bag and as you can see all their bags when you get them out of the box they will be wrapped in plastic sealed up silica gel inside the plastic bag and you also notice as we start opening this bag up and going through things there'll be a lot of silica gel packets packed inside of it all right we got our bag out of the plastic and this is the Savior Urban Warfare bag. Now, I went with the 46-inch bag, and I'll explain to you why here in a second. But you can get this in five different lengths. And let me bring that up on the screen so you can see all the options on this bag. Now I decided to go with the SW gray color and the reason being if you watch the last video I just did on the American classic rifle bag I went with the SW gray on that also and that's because my specialist range bag that I carry to the range every time I go it's also in the SW gray but they do have this available in three other color options let me bring those up on the screen so you can pause it and look at the four colors that they offer. All right, we're gonna start off talking about the front of this bag. As you can see up here, you've got plenty of places to put patches. I really like that Savior does this with all their bags. They always have different places to put patches. On this particular bag you're going to put them across the top now below this here we've got a lot of molly webbing so pretty much anything that will attach to molly you'll be able to hang it off the front of the bag if we look here we've got a zipper and a pouch and it goes to about right here so you'd be able to store some magazines here in fact, I got this Amend 2 Mod C Mag. Let's just see if that fits in there. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. In fact, we might actually be able to get two of these mags in here. You can. So that's a nice little option. And then if you look down here, you have the same option. So they're going to meet about right in the middle. So you can put two mags right here and two mags here if you choose to. Now we get down here, we've got a pouch here. This is Velcro, and this is a pretty decent size pouch. And we'll see how many mags we think we can get in here. Um, this one here, you're gonna easily be able to put four standard capacity AR mags in. One other thing this pouch could be used for, storing a handgun. So this is my Walther PDP Pro, and yes, this gun is clear, no mag, nothing in the chamber. Let's see if we can put the PDP Pro in this pouch. And as you can see, we can. 
So a lot of different options that you can use this pouch for. And you have the same thing down here on this end. Now, as far as the materials this is made out of, the build quality, I'm going to go ahead and put that up on the screen. You can pause it and go over all the specs on this bag. So the next compartment we're going to get into, let's get this unzipped and we're going to open this up, more silica gel. Now as you can see, once you get this opened up, this lays nice and flat and we have two storage pouches here, really nice zippers on these, so you can pretty much use this for just about anything, but what is super cool is this area right here, and we're gonna get into this. The American Classic that I just did the review on had this exact same setup. And what this is, this is an area to put two of your handguns. Now I already showed you that this gun was clear. What's really nice about these, you got these pull rings right here, and you can pull those. Now this PDP Pro, full size, it's a pretty good sized gun. I got a Magwell on here. We got a comp on here from Harrington Arms. We got the Phoenix GL 19R light. And we also got the taller enclosed emitter Holosun 509T. So this is a pretty good sized gun. And just like on the American Classic, it fits right in that pouch. Push that down and it's not gonna go anywhere. And then you have the option to put another handgun over on this side. So this is a really cool feature that I have not seen on a lot of other rifle bags that I've had in the past. Savior has built this into their rifle bags, so it's pretty cool that you can actually use this one bag to carry two rifles and two handguns to the range at the same time without having to grab multiple bags. Now let's get into the main compartment. Now, what's really nice about these Savior bags, when you open them up, they lay completely flat. And as you can see, this is a double rifle case. And now we're gonna get into why I went with the 46 inch bag versus one of the other sizes. Now this is my Remington 700 308, and this is actually my longest rifle in my collection. So the total length on this gun from the butt stock to the end of the barrel is about 43, 43 and a half inches. And that's why I went with the 46 inch bag because I want to be able to carry all my rifles in my collection in my range bags. And with this being the longest rifle I got, if this fits, then all the other guns that I have will fit also. Now I do have the bolt out of this. There is no mag, so obviously this gun is clear and safe for handling. So you've got these two straps right here. And you're going to slide the barrel down into this end. And we'll come back up here and lock that in right there. And then we can pull our straps nice and tight and this is not going anywhere you do have the divider flap to keep your other gun from banging around on this one which is a nice feature all right i've got my anderson frontline 16 and yes this gun's clear no mag nothing in the chamber this gun is safe for handling this is kind of the trade-off of going with the longer bag with the 46 inch so I can carry my bolt action rifles. And the issue here is this bag's just a little long for a standard 16 inch barrel AR. Now you can 
get these in here. But if you're going to use this bag strictly to carry ARs, you might want to go with one of the smaller sizes. Now, I have noticed with the American Classic, as long as you take your straps and you lock this down nice and tight, you're going to be fine. But if you don't plan on carrying a longer bolt action rifle like I am, then definitely go with a little bit smaller size for your ARs. One other really nice thing is this extra padded protection you have up here at the top and down the sides. And then with your divider in the middle, you definitely aren't going to have to worry about the two guns banging into each other. So this is a really nice feature here also. All right, let's close this up. Make sure we're not going to have any issues so far. So good. Grab my other zipper. And there you go. All right, pretty nice fit. Not too hard to get this zipped up with the bigger scope that's on the 700. And uh, once you have it zipped up, you've got the extra protection here. You can close these, tighten those down. Now you got everything nice and well protected in the bag. All right, so let's get into our carry options on this. So you have your standard two straps here. Grab your bag and go. You got Velcro here to tie your two straps together if you want to carry it this way. And on the back, this is super cool. This also doubles as a backpack. Now I probably won't use this option, but it's here. You also have two straps built in to both ends here to grab the bag. Your backpack straps are fully adjustable. You have adjustability here, adjustability here. You also have this crossbody strap, whatever you want to call it here, and this is fully adjustable. The padding on this is really nice, nice soft padding. So if you're going to be carrying this for a long period of time, hiking or whatever, should be pretty comfortable. Now this bag also has a third carry option and the American Classic didn't have this. But you have a ring here and a ring here. And it does come with a shoulder strap. And you can hook that here. This is also fully adjustable. And then you can sling this bag over your shoulder. So this is really cool that you have three different carry options on this bag because the American Classic only had the two options. All right, so there is my unboxing and overview of the Savior Equipment Urban Warfare 46 inch rifle bag in SW Gray. And one thing I didn't mention, and it's probably in those spec sheets that I brought up on the screen, but Savior does have a lifetime warranty on their products. I'm going to have a hard time choosing whether I like this bag better or the American Classic. These are both really nice bags. And I will link my Savior Equipment American Classic rifle bag in the description if you want to go watch that. And I'm also going to be making a playlist of all the Savior Equipment products that I have. But this is really awesome. I want to thank Savior for sending this out to the channel. They've been really good to me. And uh, I just love and stand behind their product. Now we will definitely be coming back and doing a long-term review on this. Just like we are with all the other Savior bags. Those will be coming up here starting soon. Because I've been carrying the Specialist range bag to the range for about six months now. Maybe longer. So we're about ready to do a long-term review on that and the Specialist Pistol Case. And then it'll probably be about six months. We'll do a, a long-term review on this bag in the American Classic. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when I decide to do the long-term reviews on these bags. Well, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.